Hello there, this video will help you to set up your own private server for Hurtworld and the steps are quite easy to follow. First of all, search for SteamCMD on the web and click on the first link. This page is totally legit, as you can see. Just scroll down, no viruses, okay? Scroll down and download the SimCMD if you are using Windows. If you are using a different operating system, you may want to follow the steps below here, alright? Go ahead, extract the file to any folder you prefer. Close it. Downloads. I actually like to have the Steam CMD file and the folder here on the local disk so everything will be together. I prefer to have it here. Launch it. Let the Steam check and also download the Steam CMD files as well. So now what you have to do is to force the application to create a new folder here on your local disk on this case, okay? I think you can create somewhere else, but this is by default the things you have to do. So, in this case C, and I want to name my uh, folder as Earthward Server. You can name it whatever you want, but if you add any spaces between each name, it will just name your folder as Earthworld, okay? Just a common thing, but it's not a big deal. Now let's log in anonymously into Steam Public. Now finally let's download and update this Hurtworld dedicated server app by uh, typing the code and validate it here through Steam CMD. This is the code and it may take a while to download everything. Alright, your server files are successfully installed. Close Steam CMD and as you can see th this is the, the new folder it created. And whatever you do, never launch the game through this Earthworld application here because it will just appear a black screen. You won't be able to play the game through this application. So I totally encourage you to keep launching the game through the Steam application itself. First of all, what you have to do here is to go to the host file, alright? And this is the main file of this server and right click over it and as I did, sorry I was too fast, edit it with the notepad and this code will appear. So you may want to change this to your server name, okay? Uh, it doesn't really matter, it's optional, so I'm just gonna put something like this. And if you want to add yourself as an admin, so you can have access to the admin commands, you may want to do this. Now we need to know your Steam ID 64, so how to find that? Just search for Steam ID, you have plenty of these uh, sites, so I'll just open it here, this one. And uh, I will put my name here, right? My Steam name and look up and you can always opt to copy and paste your steam profile link it's the same thing so there's my steam id64 here which i'm gonna copy and don't even try to add me on steam okay just because you see my steam id here all right so this is the correct code for you to be able to work on your server as an admin everything else, okay? So let's save this and close. Close it. can minimize this as well. Now go to the auto exec default and open it with the notepad as well. And just delete the quit code line. And why? Now save it. Because the issue is the fact that if you leave the quit there, the host file, when it's launched, it will automatically close by itself, alright? So I re just remove the quit from there. Plus, the, the thing that I want to tell you is to change the auto-exec default to just auto-exec. 
Thanks to one of my friends, they, he explained to me that if I don't change the name of this auto exec before trying to load the Steam Workshop mod, the mods won't work on my server. That's why if you want in the future to add some mods to your server through the Steam Workshop, you won't be able to do it if you don't change the name here, at least for a few uh, mods at least. Okay, so everything now is set up, you wanna uh, open the host file. So you can either open it normally or run it as administrator. So this is my first choice here. This is how it looks, the window. Now let's launch the game through Steam. Now summon the in-game command console. Type this. This is all you have to do, you don't have to put the, the host code after this, at least for me it works like this. Enter, and loading, so for you to test if you are really set up as an admin properly, go ahead, press F1 and just put a command that you may be able to see it working right now, for example, Archon. If it changes to night time, it means that you are correctly added as an admin. If not, you probably better watch my video about uh, the issues that you may have with your own server. For example, if you are not able to join your server or if the, the server, the host file, okay, the application, if it automatically closes the window or something like that, just go ahead and click on the link of this video description below, alright? See? So I'm correctly set as an admin on my own server. If you want to know uh, more commands and uh, how to work with them on your uh, server or going further with the server management, just go ahead and click on the other links of this video as well, okay? Goodbye and thanks for watching.